Hey boys, how's it going? Today I've got a bit of a different video for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about how I actually found a dupe method. Yup, yeah, yeah. there it fucking is, got it. That a tribe was using on Genesis Part 2, reported it to Wildcard, got it patched, got the tribe dev wiped and banned, and also made $1,000 in the process. So if that sounds interesting, boys, make sure that you stick around because we're gonna be going through everything that took place over the around week long process. And I'll let you guys know exactly how you can make money as well by helping out the community. So to start things off, we already knew that some of the tribes on this server were duping um, simply because we knew that some of these tribes were active on the main cluster and you can pretty much tell when a tribe on main is duping or not uh, based on the things that they have. Uh, one of these tribes actually attacked Jamie Nid's um, main server and they dropped I think around like 40 or so different tech gens of theirs uh, which if you guys aren't aware is not exactly pretty standard stuff. People will try and protect more valuable hard to craft resources like that which obviously it's not super hard to craft but as far as things go tech items are usually pretty uh coveted um if you're not duplicating items to craft them so we were already pretty aware of that we checked out some of their other servers and we saw that this tribe in question had actually you know insane amounts of spam that would just take like an astronomical amount of time to get up and basically we had a pretty good idea that they were duping as well as a couple other tribes that were just using rockets like they were basically free after genesis part 2 came out and the dupe method was actually something that worked with ammo types so it was with like rockets arb uh shards things like that so we had a pretty good idea then it comes to the tribe that's actually the main focal point of this video um, they actually came to the server about a week late and I'm gonna put a link down in the description to the guys Twitch that was in this tribe that was streaming and everything seemed pretty much on the up and up aside from them being allied with the duping tribe for a while and he was streaming pretty consistently for a while then out of nowhere their stream stopped and between the space of like one stream and then a few days later the next stream they went from having a normal reasonable amount of stuff they obviously been given some resources to start out by their friends but the stuff they had when they started streaming again was actually like impossible to have like i'm gonna throw some screenshots up here um this was uh, after i'd already got the dupe method patched they still had around 40 deadies of gunpowder and like around 30 or 40 deadies of paste which is just impossible to have this was um all about two weeks into the servers being up something around there literally super obvious uh, but we have this clip here that I was given that actually put me on this whole hunt and this was sent to me by a tribe that uh, was also built on the server and they told me hey you know this looks like these guys are duping can you guys look into it you know they, they know that you know being a content creator I'm gonna have the availability to put this information out there fortunately it was patched quick enough that I didn't have to make a video on it I was actually going to make a video on it basically if you guys look here you'll see them going up to the ammo box and everybody has rocket launchers out and that was you know that was the dupe method so uh once we saw this uh me and blizzard decided to start looking into it in single player and uh we were trying to figure out how this could be you know done trying to reverse engineer it so i have a clip here of when we finally cracked it gonna, one matter, two three ah. hmm. wait let me go slower one Two, three. Yeah, got it? Got it. it. Yup. Yeah, yeah. There it fucking is. Got it. Once we did that, we went over to single player, and I'll show you guys this clip here from single player. Heck. Discord crash. I didn't realize that. <laughs> All right, here. Take this. All right, look, guys. Both of these rocket launchers are empty, right? Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. Damn. It's gonna be like 100% favored for you every time. One, two, three. There it is. It. There it is. Got the timing right. So, okay, so just to preface this, guys, both these rocket launchers were empty. You saw Blizzard's perspective, you saw my perspective. We have one rocket, 
Bro, I have a rocket in my inventory as well. I have two rockets. Really? Yeah. I have one in my inventory and that. Alright. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright. One, two, three. Oh! We both got it. They both got it. There it is, baby! Now, obviously, it was a little bit less consistent, and we had to use someone with high ping because that was kind of the whole method, was you were pressing E at the same time, um, and client side, it was grabbing the rocket, but server side, it wasn't. Uh, so it had something to do with the ping and everything. As soon as we figured it out, though, uh, I immediately sent a ticket in just to see how quickly I could get it done. If nothing happened in a timely manner, I was going to go ahead and make a video to pressure, you know, the dev team to do it. But fortunately, it was patched really soon after that. I think around like 24 to like 36 hours max, and it actually got patched. Um, so after that ticket got put in, we, uh, we sent a screenshot um, from the tribe that was duping as to how we got the dupe method and i think in the initial ticket it kind of got glossed over where they were just trying to figure out how the dupe method worked and they wanted to get rid of it as soon as possible which is kind of fair but since nothing happened to this tribe and as you guys will see in these clips here dudes you are talking like you don't know what is ammo box everybody are talking shit, but everybody did the same you you know you know how many daddies of tech items people from uh, like a uh, uh, open cluster have on their base and I will play with against those guys they will get here they will fob me they will fight against me so dude I will do whatever I can do to be as equals on day I I don't have a lot of stuffs outside of open cluster. To be honest, I don't have nothing. I have one spot that I can build. Just that. But dude, told me, what can you do? Nothing. Just keep crying. You can do nothing. What card are actually like bragging about it in a stream? He deleted the VOD on this, so you won't be able to find this in his Twitch. But um, I got these clips from his Twitch. Uh, we were calling him a duper because we'd already seen it. He's basically, you know, just saying, hey, you know, you guys can't do anything. Wildcard doesn't care. Um, you know, everybody did the same thing, which is an admission in and of itself. Saying everybody did the same thing, not everybody did that thing implies that they did it themselves. Um, so we took all that information, we put in another ticket, uh, we put in a ticket, a branch of Iron Sky that's living on our server put in a ticket, um, the tribe that sent me this stuff originally put in a ticket, which I know Wildcard doesn't like multiple tickets, but we just wanted to make sure that somebody saw it. We all were very thorough, put as much information as we could in, and my ticket wasn't actually the one that got these guys dev wiped, but it was from the same batch of tickets. I believe, if I remember correctly, it was the one from the guy from Iron Sky that had his ticket answered, but this guy actually ended up getting dev wiped and banned live on stream which i'll show you guys now it was really funny Let DC and all this, this is added, my friend. you have been go bro bened that's a kind of man man Eu tomei ban, global. Eu tomei ban. You have been. So after he got globally banned, we went in and, you know, checked and we ch saw that, you know, their base was gone. Everybody was laughing about it, having a good time in the server. Egg. Justice, Moose, boys. They got dev. Justice. Moose, they got dev. Somebody clip it, clip his stream, clip his stream. That must be why the server ghosted, dude. It ghosted because they hit the, the fucking yeah. delete all key. <laughs> <laughs> Are these all off hand, isn't it? Shit, it looks a little spacious in here, boys. We moving in. 
And shortly after that, I actually got an email from Wildcard. It was from Jat specifically telling me that he needed my PayPal information as well as I needed to for fill out a tax form for a bounty. So if you guys aren't aware, there's actually a bounty system that Wildcard has and they've had for a long time. A lot of people think that it's stopped and I'm not sure where that misinformation came from. If you look at the uh, list of bounties on the forums, it seems like it's been pretty much continual. Um, but basically, they will pay people to send them in exploits if you're the first person to report it. If it's game-breaking or, you know, very, like, problematic, then they'll actually pay you to show them what the exploit is so they can get it patched. Which I, at the time, when I put the ticket in, I had no idea about. But it was definitely a pretty welcome thing. I was expecting maybe, like, $100, $200, but boys... Let me tell you, they sent me a thousand dollars. So if you guys ever catch, you know, some sort of dupe exploit or any like crazy mesh exploit or anything that's very game breaking and you feel like you're the first person that's seen it or, you know, even if you just, you know, know about it and it hasn't been patched, do not hesitate to put that ticket in because not only are you helping keep the game super fair and fun for everybody, which, you know, I know a lot of people, uh, you know, unfortunately in the official scene do use these exploits and they'll tell you that it's to stay competitive. But the reality is if everybody, you know, just put these tickets in as soon as they figured out these exploits, then the people who are initially cheating would actually be a lot more obvious and it would make Wildcard's job a lot easier. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit strange uh, compared to my normal style of video, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, it, it doesn't just, you know, help the community when you guys put those tickets into Wildcard. Uh, it actually can help your bank account. So <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this guy get dev wiped and, you know, all the stuff that we went through and i'll see you guys in the next one peace